13 Action News Update sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello, I'm Dave Crovassier, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, the Clark County School District says more students are now getting to school on time and that its partnership with RTC is working. About a thousand students are now taking public buses to and from school, about 400 of those students not previously eligible for transportation. It shows that there is definitely an interest for the public transit system and I appreciate the partnership that RTC and CCSD have come together. The district also says it has about 240 bus driver positions still to fill, but it says hiring is getting better. A big step has been to expand a train line to Southern California. Brightline has signed a memorandum of understanding with the state of California. It would add a new station in Rancho Cucamonga, which will let some passengers uh, catch the Metro Link station there. It could take them right into L.A. Brightline says the total trip time between Las Vegas and the new station will be about two hours, three hours if you're going to L.A. No word yet on an official groundbreaking. One of these days, we hope temperatures climbing out of the 50s this morning into the mid 60s by 9 in the morning, mid 70s by lunchtime. Get ready for a milder afternoon high should hit the low 80s. Although after three calm days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the breeze is back for our Friday afternoon. Nevertheless, temperatures around 82. We'll see those gusts hit 25 miles per hour this afternoon, and it's clearing in the 70s and the 60s this evening, but still a little breezy. Dave, those breezes linger this weekend. Highs in the 70s this weekend, and we're still looking for some rain chances on Monday. All right, Justin, that was your 13 Action News update. You'll find more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app.